Harrison Forzer. It's an absolute pleasure to be in your company. Hi, Rick. And, and to meet you. Thank you. Um, I know initially when, when John Favreau came to you, or um, Steven Spielberg came to you with the script, you felt that there wasn't quite enough there, that there wasn't enough there for you to take the role. What, what changed there that made you go, okay, no, I actually it, can do it, something it, with, no, with I think role. I think there was plenty uh, uh, there. I just didn't know the tone of it. The, oh. you know, the title of it, Cowboys and Aliens, sounds kind of jokey. And uh, when I learned that uh, uh, John Favreau's ambition was to make a, a rather more serious film, I, w I was more interested. I just thought, uh, if it were a jokey and tongue-in-cheek uh, kind of thing, um, would wear thin pretty soon. Um, so, I, you know, I, I got to know the people. I, I thought the character was uh, uh, interesting for me to play. Um, we did some work on the character and, uh, and, the, and the script, and you know, I was quite happy to be in, in the company of, of all of the talented people involved, including Daniel, who was a big attraction to me. And John Favreau, of course, was an actor for, for many, many yeah. years and supporting actor. And how, how, what's the difference between somebody who's acted before and done it in film and the directing? Is there a slight difference in direction? And do you know the directors that you've, great directors that you've worked with over the years? Well, some uh, acting directors uh, um, want to tell you how to act. So it can be worse as well. Uh, and some, yeah, and some have the wisdom to uh, spend a little more time uh, casting so that they have confidence in the in the people they're working with, and uh, don't tell you how to act. It's it's much too late for that usually <laughs> when you're on a set. But he was a he's a very uh, you know clear, passionate director. Cared a lot about his work. And when you when you come onto a set like this or or any set and you've got like kind of newer actors that are that are just upcoming, they're obviously going to be very intimidated by it into iconic roles. Do you have a trick or uh, how you make them feel at ease or is it just be yourself and they'll, and they'll warm to you? Uh, you know, I, I, I try not to um, uh, intimidate people. I don't, I, it's not my ambition. I want everybody to be as comfortable as they can be. You know, so if I notice that somebody is uh, uncomfortable. I, tr I try and make them less so. And the physicality of this as well, you're still obviously enjoying the, the physical elements with all these stories from Vic Armstrong and on the set of Indiana Jones where you'd, you had to pull you away from, from doing the stunts. Is that something that you still obviously really enjoy doing and taking part? Well, you know, I never did stunts. I did physical acting. Stuntmen do stunts. Actors act. Uh, there's really in this movie is there's a lot of physical acting, but there there really is only for my character one stunt, and that's uh, when he's taken off his horse by by the alien, and of course that was done by a stunt man. Yeah. So, but I enjoy I, I enjoy the physical uh, uh, part of acting still. And how, what's, has the fan reaction to you changed at all over the years? Or so has the fan, the fan reaction? reaction you know, I know you went to Comic Con and um, you've been to Comic Con a couple of times in the course this year and last year with, with, with this film, Cowboys, Cowboys and Aliens. And mm -hmm. are they, is it still that ecstatic, just crazy? Well, to I've see? only been, I've, I only have been two times. Once uh, uh, when we released this film there, when we had our premiere there. And then uh, I had been uh, a year previous. Uh, John had asked uh, Daniel and I and Olivia to go uh, uh, and to present a few minutes of film uh, to the Comic Con audience, and it was uh, you know I was delighted by the uh, warm reception that we got both both times. That must be an incredible feeling to see how much. Happiness you can you can bring into these fans' lives just by turning up to, to present some footage because they're still obviously incredibly passionate about about the roles that you play. Um, you know I don't take it personally. I you know I've had the luck to be involved with some wonderful filmmakers and I'm only a, a part of the of the process of bringing these films to life. But it's been a very lucky uh, experience for me. And I think one of your next role is, is going to be wider. Is that right? Or is that well, if we get to, if we get uh, you know it's in development now. If uh, 
if everything turns out to, it's, it's not a, uh, it's not a, a story about Wyatt Earp in the Old West, it's a story about him uh, uh, later in his life as a private detective in Los Angeles and in uh, New York, yeah. That's, sounds, that's incredibly exciting, it sounds like a, a different angle to do kind of the aftermath of a Western. Is, how did you, how did you, did you bring that to somebody or did somebody bring the material to you and think uh, you Somebody brought, brought the material to me and I'm, you know, you know part of the development process of it. We'll see how it turns out. This also happen. And I know Harrison, I can't leave it out giving the obligatory Irish question. I know you've got some Irish blood. Have you, have you been to Ireland recently? Have you been to Ireland before? We'd love to have you over. Yeah, I'd love to spend some serious time there. I'm, I'm afraid that I've most often just uh, stopped to refuel at Shannon or Dublin and uh, haven't spent much time there. But uh, I have Irish blood and I, I'd love to explore the country. Get you back to the motherland one day. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Thank you for your My time. My pleasure. Thank you.